Hey folks, it's Mr. G. Welcome to this episode of Just Corvette Crazy. What we're going to be talking about today are the importance of having yourself a set of jacking pucks for your Corvette. And I'm also going to show you how to make your own set out of some hockey pucks. So stay tuned. Hey folks, this is Mr. G and welcome to Just Corvette Crazy. On this channel we talk about Corvettes, we fix some Corvettes, and we love to drive our Corvettes. So if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out a lot. Thanks. Thanks for sticking around. Please subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps out the channel. So today I'm going to be talking about the importance of having yourself a set of Corvette jacking pucks. Now, C5 Corvettes, C6, C7, and C8 Corvettes all use the same style of jacking puck. The idea is there are four places on the frame of the Corvette to place a jack. In a lot of cases, you've got your side skirts, your rockers, things like that that get in the way of putting a jack there. Another thing is when you take your car to the shop, a lot of shops do not have rubber on the top of their uh, jack posts. So it's just bare metal. So what you want to do is you want to place something in between the jack and the frame of your car. And that's the jack puck. So basically what it is, is a device that goes between the frame of your car and the jack that comes underneath to lift your car. So it adds a layer of protection between the two. These jacking pucks come in many styles, but you can break it down into two categories. There are rubber, which is what I have, and then there are metal ones or metallic ones that are made out of aluminum and things like that. There are also semi-permanent ones that you install in the car and leave there. The ones that I prefer are the ones that are just there temporarily and then you remove them. So what I'm going to show you is where they actually fit in the car. There are four spots in the frame of the car where this jacking puck actually slides up and temporarily locks into place. So let me see what I can show you what that looks like. Alright, so here we are underneath the ZR1. And there are four locations, there are holes, oblong holes that are located in the frame of the car. So there are one on each side at the front, one on each side at the back. And this is where General Motors expects you to uh, balance the car. So these are the jacking locations that they specify. So basically the way that the jacking puck works is you place it up into the hole and turn it 90 degrees and it stays there. Then when you apply your jack the jack actually comes up and presses on the puck. So it looks kind of like this. So basically now the puck is providing a layer of protection between the jack and the car. It also drops the jacking point below the skirts. It is very important that any time you take your car into the shop, you make sure that you have your jacking pucks with you. Chances are they're not going to have a set 
and you don't want them damaging the frame or hitting any of the fiberglass rockers and causing damage with their lift. So, once the jack is lowered, we can go ahead and spin the jacking puck and it will just basically, once you'll get it lined up, there you go, it drops out. So again, this part fits up into the groove. Spin it, and it's designed to stay there. It's temporary, you can easily have it removed. Now, I did mention that there are ones that are semi-permanent and they get bolted into the frame holes permanently and they stay there all the time. The ones I prefer are the rubber. And the reason I like the rubber as opposed to the metal is because the rubber actually gives a little bit and kind of forms to the frame. So you'll see that there are like little rivets and things like that that are located around. If the jacking puck happily hits one, it will just kind of morph around it and not cause any damage. So I prefer these rubberized ones. So you can pick up these pucks many different places. I got mine a set Amazon. Typically they're, you know, 20 to $30. They're not all that expensive for the uh, rubberized ones. But what I'm going to show you now is how you can make a set of these yourself using hockey pucks. So a hockey puck is very much the same rubber material as this jacking puck. All that we're missing is the thing to hold it in place. So I'm going to show you a quick way to turn a hockey puck into a jacking puck. All right, so we've got our regular jacking puck. We've got hockey puck. What you require is an eye bolt that you can screw into the hockey puck to duplicate this effect. So, the bolt, eye bolt that you're looking for, about two inches in length, And this one happens to be about seven eighths of an inch across. So approximately two inches by seven eighths. Now you can go a little bit bigger if you want. There's no big deal. There's no danger if you were to go anything bigger. Now, you do not want to exceed about an inch and a quarter. Okay, so you want to keep the width under an inch and a quarter. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to find the approximate center. You're going to drill a pilot hole. Now, it's important that you do not drill the pilot hole all the way through the hockey puck. So you want to basically do it so that, in, in my version, it sits something like that. So I want to bury the threads, and I want to keep some of it above. And once this is put together, we can adjust it afterwards to get the best fit in the car. 
but I don't want to go all the way through with the drill so I want to drill probably about halfway through the hockey puck so what I've done is I've basically taken a bit on a drill bit on my drill and I've kind of set it to go the length of the threads so the length of the threads and then stop so basically what we're doing is just drilling a little pilot hole just like that and then all we're going to do is thread that eye bolt in. Now the eye bolt itself does not have any pressure on it. The only thing it does is it stops the puck from coming out of the car. So you're just going to thread that all the way like so till the threads get buried and then you're going to take it over to the car and see if it fits all right so we've got our eye bolts in our hockey puck and what we're going to do is fit it to the car now so basically I'm going to put it up spin it till it stays and then check to see how much play I have. So this is a little bit too much. I want it a little tighter than that. So all I'm going to do is put the threads in a little bit farther. And then test it again. Put it up. Spin it 90 degrees. And she's in. So that's about as much play as I want. So now what I'm going to do is just jack it up. So you can see the jack has come up. And the puck is taking the pressure from the jack to the frame. So there's your layer of protection. So when I drop that down, the hockey puck should stay in place. To remove it, spin, drop it out, and you got yourself a set of jacking pucks. So all you need four of these eye bolts, four hockey pucks, five minutes of your time, and you can have yourself a set of jacking pucks for your car. All right, there you go. So you can pick yourself up a set of ready-made jacking pucks. You can pick them up at Amazon. You can pick them up at eBay. Any of the Corvette dealers, Corvette parts suppliers, they all have jacking pucks. They come in a rubberized version. They also come in a metal version. Personally, I prefer the rubber. Or you can kind of have some fun Take four hockey pucks, four eye bolts, and make yourself a set of jacking pucks. Throw them in the back of your car. That way you'll always have them if you need them. Until next time, Mr. G says, keep the rubber side down, everybody, and take care.